Hello, everybody. Marie Greenspring here, host of the Teach and Profit Summit. And here with me is Joshua Spodek. And we're going to be talking about a very important topic called leadership. Joshua is an expert on this, and we'll be digging into the steps into becoming a great leader. But first off, Joshua, welcome to the stage. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. How are you? I am good, thank you, and I'm sure I are, I'm excited, and I'm sure our audience are excited too. So first off, let's start with you sharing how you got started that led you to doing what you're doing today. There's a long story. I'll try to keep it short, and if you want more details, let me know. I think the beginning was really 20 years ago when I was uh, when I first left graduate school and started my first company, and that was my first time in a leadership role. I was CEO of a company that I co-founded. And then I did my best. I got squeezed out during the recession. It was a really difficult period. So the next big jump was when I went to business school. And in business schools where I learned that you could learn to lead. And then, see, in, in school I learned, you know, we, we took classes. We would read papers and we would write papers and we would do case studies. And so I learned about leadership. But it wasn't until after business school that I started going into leadership positions and, and doing things. And I realized like even though I'd learned about it, I didn't really learn how to do it. So fast forward to about five years ago is when I started learning about different techniques of teaching and realized that intellectual learning is important for sure, but it was really, you have to learn experientially and actively. And I started putting into practice pr principles and, and practices of active learning and, and experiential learning and project-based learning. So the past five years has been really where I've uh, been teaching at NYU and some stuff up at Columbia of teaching leadership through experiential project-based learning. Mm 